Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite things. These are some new discoveries of mine. And if you are new here, I share makeup, skincare, fashion, a little bit of everything for us mature ladies. If that's something that interests you, then please make sure you consider clicking that button below and hitting the subscribe button. I share new videos every single week and make sure that you click that notification bell too because I don't want you to miss out on any of my content. Always make sure you watch to the end of my video because there's probably gonna be some bloopers in here, okay? So let's talk about what I'm wearing first. So this and this, these and this is from my friend Cindy. She has an Etsy shop. She is amazing. I've been buying her pieces for years. She hand makes all of her pieces. She designs it herself. I just love her and she's just the sweetest lady ever too. So I'm proud to call her my friend. So she created this piece. I think it's called a sunburst. I will leave a link below. Here's the thing about her shop. Like I said, she designs and creates all her pieces. She doesn't have mass pieces of anything. She only makes a certain amount. So if you see something that you like, I would definitely recommend making sure that you get it because like I said, she only makes a limited quantity of everything that, you know, just because when you're an artist, you don't want to like mass produce stuff. She just, every, you know, she only makes a certain amount. So I love, love, love of this piece. So these are little beads here. I love the design and I love that little that little rhinestone or whatever in the center but it's just really really pretty and then the earrings I was never a dangly earring person but I love these the last time I checked I didn't see these on her site so you can ask her about these but these are just beautiful they're really really light it feels like I'm not even wearing any so sometimes dangly earrings can be annoying these aren't they're really really comfortable it's so cute these are really pretty leaf earrings I love these you've seen me wear these and I think at least my last recent video that I shared love these again really really light comfortable to wear just love them and then this is something she made a couple of years ago that I love so I love the the chunky uh, ball um, I forget what you call this chain but I love that I love the design in it and every time I wear her pieces I always get compliments on it let me talk about something that was sent to me this is from Rose Forever of New York so if you've been following me since my blogging days you know that pink roses are my jam and most of my photos had pink roses pink roses pink roses they're just my thing so when they reached out to me and wanted to send me some I said yes these are the roses that they sent to me comes in this because a rose forever in New York right there stamped on there and then you have these gorgeous I don't know if you can see these gorgeous pink roses it's so now it doesn't smell no I don't smell it they don't smell like, you know, fresh roses that smell, but when you feel them, it's weird because they don't feel dry. They feel, I mean, cause they are, they're real roses. I don't know how they preserve them, but it's the weirdest thing because when you touch them, they feel like, you know, if you had a fresh picked rose, that's what they feel like. So these last a year, they have different sizes. They have smaller boxes. They have round shaped boxes. This is the black velvet box that they sent me. You could see it comes with the, the top. So when you get it, it's gonna have the lid on it. I'm not gonna keep it closed or anything. So I just, I just put the box on top of the lid there, but it's just so pretty. It's so different. And I feel like it would make a really nice Mother's Day gift, anniversary, birthday, graduation, sadly, People aren't gonna have the graduation ceremonies this year, but this would be something nice to send to someone because they're not gonna die in a week or whatever. But I just think it's such a unique idea. Like I said, I've seen these floating around, have always wanted to check it out. That was not so nice of them to reach out to me. So beautiful, beautiful, I just can't tell. I mean, I don't think you can see on camera how pretty these really are. I don't think it looks as pretty, but if you follow me on Instagram, I took a photo of them, so please make sure you hop on over. If you can follow me on Instagram, I will leave the link below so you can check it out. But these are just gorgeous. I can't say enough things. Say thank you so much, Roses Forever, for saying them to me. If I can get some sort of a code so you can save money, I will I will check that out for you guys, okay? I have been using Colleen Rothschild's hair mask for at least a year. I believe it was last year that I got introduced to it. So many of you guys use it too. After my recommendation, I 
love it always have a backup of it and her hair serum so when she first came out with it i got the set all together and i just i love it that's what i use on my hair i wash my hair every single day doesn't weigh my hair down i love it so she recently came out with a shampoo and this is it right here this is the shampoo love this shampoo love it so much again she sent this to me i bought this one so i bought this one so when she sent this to me she sent me a microfiber towel which i love as well i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera how big this is okay and she has her little tag on there but what i love about this when i get out of the shower if i put a regular towel on my head to dry my hair off sometimes it's too heavy on my neck and can cause me to have a little bit of a headache this is fabulous because it's not heavy at all. So when I put it on my head, it's like, it, it's just not heavy. It's really, really light. First I put my serum on. So I put my hair serum on, put that in, brush it through my hair. Then I put this on and I go ahead and do my skincare routine. And then when I take this out, I feel like my hair is dry. I love this. And what I do is I just let it drape it over my bathtub and just let it dry overnight. I loved it so much I wanted my daughter to have one. So that's why I bought this and this. I bought the set together. So she sent me one and I bought one for my daughter. Love it, would recommend both of those. This is up now in her first kit that she came out with, she had this like little brush that kind of looks like an egg shaped brush. So I bought this. This is called the Tangle Teaser, is what it's called, Tangle Teaser. It's plastic, it's kind of like hers, but I actually like the way this is shaped here because I can hold it like this. See how it grips on better? And then what I do in the showers, I will put the mask on. I will take this and I will brush it through my hair, let it sit on while I'm washing up, and then I rinse it off. So love this, definitely would recommend this. I bought this at Ulta. I will see if I can find it for you and I will leave a link below if I can find it. So those of you who know me know that I am a Disney freak. I'm pretty sad right now that I can't go to my happy place. So what do we do if we can't go there? We bring it to our house, girl. That's what we do. I heard about the Magic Candle Company. Actually purchased a candle from them maybe a year, maybe it was longer ago. Pirate Water. No, girl. It didn't smell anything like Pirate Water. Total disappointment. I was like, ugh. But decided to give them another try and I'm glad that I did. What I've been doing is I've been ordering these smaller ones first. I'll talk about this one in a second. And then if I like it, then I go to the big boy. Okay, this one is called the Beach Resort. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. It smells fresh. It's a floral scent, but it's not heavy. It's, it smells like the beach and fresh flowers. It's just really pretty. What I like about their candles is it, you can smell it throughout your house, but it's not overpowering. I don't like overpowering, especially when it comes to floral scents. So it's really, really has a nice throw, if you will, in the house, but it's not like, ugh, gag. I love Bath & Body Works candles. Some of them are winners for me. Some of them are like, I can't even burn them for long because it's just too much for me. These are really, really nice, at least the ones that I've tried. Um, there's one in here that I'm not crazy about. We'll talk about that, but love this one. The other one, I don't know, I was burning this. I don't know if I can tilt it. Oh yeah, I can. This one smells amazing. This is called Flying Over Fiji. So if you're familiar with the ride Soren, and by the way, this is the beach resort, so explanatory, <laughs> explains itself. But if you are familiar with Soren, when you're flying over Fiji, that's what this candle is supposed to be. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I don't think it smells exactly like it, but it smells amazing. It smells wonderful. It just smells, it smells um, like water, but then I smell a little like of a fruity smell or something. It's just really, a really nice one. I like that one. One more thing I wanted to say about the, these is they have the little wood wicks on these. So it makes it a little bit of a different kind of a sound when it's burning. And at first it annoyed me. I did not like it, but I'm used to it now. And I like how, see how evenly it burns? That's a good candle. When a candle burns evenly, Bath & Body Works burns like that too, so I really like that. The other one that I love is this one, and this one's called the Polynesian, and it just smells like fresh cut grass, bamboo. It just smells really nice. What this reminds me more of, though, than the Poly is the Soren Ride when you are flying over the elephants and you smell that 
fresh green grass plant smell. That's what this smells like. I, I love this one. It just smells so nice in your house. Candles make me happy. Scented candles make me happy, especially right now I'm trapped in my house. So I need something to make me happy. So that's why I've been buying more. I have more coming. I actually ordered a larger one of these. So this is another one that I tried. It's okay. I don't know that I'm going to get another one of them. I didn't order one yet. So, and this is Key West. This one's called Key West and it smells like, it smells like suntan lotion. That's what it smells like, like, like coconut suntan lotion. It smells nice, but I don't love it. Not one of my favorites. So I don't know that I'm going to order that one again. Probably not. Really, really love those candles. If you're into scented candles, you're into Disney, definitely would check them out. So I leave a link below for that. I have no code or anything, but I will leave it below. Teddy Blake sent me this bag. I did a review on a bag that they sent me a couple years ago. Beautiful bag, not practical. This bag is so practical. Obviously, I haven't been out using it, but it's going to be practical because I love the design. I love how open it is. I love these little zippers here that are like on the outside of the bag. So getting in and out is going to be nice. Just love the way this one is stamped. Love the handles on it. Made of leather, made in Italy, made really, really well. So if you're looking for a new bag, definitely would check out Teddy Blake bags. I do have a code for them, but it is not an affiliate. And by the way, none of this is sponsored, okay? If, I, if anything was sponsored, I'm always transparent. I'm always upfront with you guys. Even below, I always say, if, so, if there's a code, if there's an affiliate, I put affiliate. If it isn't, then I say it's not. So I always want to be upfront and honest with you guys. Sleep and Glow sent me a pillow and I love it. And I am picky about pillows because I have neck issues that turn into migraines. So I love this. So this is the pillow right here. And so if you are a back sleeper or side sleeper, I think you are going to love this pillow. So they reached out to me again after I did that review on it and asked if I wanted to test out their silk pillowcase and a couple other things. And I said, absolutely. So here is the silk pillowcase that's on it. Love it. So if you do get it, I would recommend getting this because here's the thing, when you use a silk pillowcase, it helps prevent, it also helps prevent wrinkles because of the silk because it doesn't bunch up or anything like that. It's a softer on your skin. And also, if you are wearing, which you do, all of your skincare at nighttime, it doesn't absorb any of that. So I really think that a silk pillowcase is really, really important to use. I was already using a silk pillowcase, but now I have one that actually fits the pillow. That's really nice. So if you have this pillow, I definitely recommend that. Now, something else that they sent me was this sleeping mask. So I used to use these a while ago and I haven't used one in a while because they're all just the, the, the ones that I've tried have just been elastic and eventually the elastic gets icky and stuff. And I don't know, after the last one, I just decided I'm just not gonna get them anymore. So when she had these, I decided to try it. Now this one does have an adjustable strap, which I like. I've never had one like that before. I'm not saying that nobody else has this. I'm sure that they do, but the ones that I found were always elastic and they didn't adjust. So that I really like. This one is really thin though. It's not very filled with anything. More, the ones that I've always tried before had more filling in them. And so when I wore them, they fit better. This one just didn't fit me well. I gave it a couple of tries. I woke up one day with lines all over my face and I said, no. So this is a no for me. It just doesn't fit me right. I don't know if it's because it's too thin or what, but I'm not gonna wear something that's gonna cause wrinkles. That doesn't make sense. So this is a no for me. But this is something that I was really excited to try because I had never heard of this before. I'm not saying that they're not out there, but I had not heard about this. So this is a pillow bra. I'm gonna show you how you wear it in a second, but it's going over my shirt because this is not that kind of a channel, okay? What this does is this sits on you between the girls and prevents the girls from getting squished together because what happens if you're a side sleeper like me, squish, guess what happens here? You're pushing that skin together and then you're gonna get wrinkles. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no wrinkles there. I have no wrinkles here. I don't have any wrinkles, but why not try to prevent them if I can, right? This is how you wear it. So it goes, 
it attaches in the back just like a bra would. So it's got this little hook here, all right? And then you put it on. So what I do is I hook it and I twist it around. That's how I do it. Do you do that? Is that how you wear yours? Your regular bra, it's pretty much the same thing. So then, see how it is? So that's how it fits, like that. So obviously, you got nothing on here, but when you're sleeping, this rests on you, and so they don't go anywhere, okay? And you can adjust it here, just like a bra, you know, a regular bra, you can adjust it too. Now, I'm a small girl, and so are my girls. So I don't know how it is if you're a bigger person or not. I don't know how it would work for you, but I'm, for me, this works on me. It is adjustable, like I said, but it's very, very comfortable. I don't even know that I'm wearing it. I honestly do not even know I'm wearing it. So I still wear a nightgown over it. After I do my skincare, because obviously, because this is sitting here, you know what I mean? And I like to put my skincare there. Um, so after I do all my skincare and stuff, I put that on and I put my nightgown over. But I mean, you could just sleep with that if you want. You know, you do you, girl. But um, I really, really like that. Definitely would recommend that. I do have a code. There's one more thing that I want to show you, and we are going to go in the kitchen really quick, and I'll show you. I love this coffee maker. I got this from William Sonoma. So what I love about this is that you can make a pot of coffee like that. I can make a cup. So I can make a cup of coffee. I'm going to do a single cup of coffee travel cup. There's little settings in here too depending on the size of your cup and then you can also make iced coffee. You can also heat up water if you just want to have tea or something like that or hot chocolate. Oh my gosh I love it. Now one thing I will say is it's really tall. Can you see my cabinets right there? Okay so it's really tall. Um, it's not a big deal for me because I have it on a tray. I always keep it on a tray because I'm weird like that and I just don't like my counter all messed up. That's one thing that you know you just have to be aware of that it's really tall and then when you turn it on it's really loud. I'm going to turn it on. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of loud. It makes coffee super fast. I'm going to make a cup of coffee really quick so you can see how fast it is. So you can also check the kind of brew that you want. I always do light. I don't like strong coffee. So you can do light gold, bold, um, and then you can you can even change the temperature. You can do a lot of different things with this. I just keep it pretty simple, but it brews my coffee super fast. So I just turn it on and it kind of clicks a little bit and now it's, it's already brewing. So I have one of those pod things and it never, my coffee never brewed this fast. I love that coffee maker. I just love the fact that I can make a single pot of coffee. I love the fact that I can make a single serve coffee as well. So really, really love that coffee machine. Kind of expensive, not gonna lie to you, but I feel like it's worth it because it's a hot cup of coffee. It's fast and I love how versatile it is as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and I would really appreciate if you would share it. Anytime I post a video and you share it, it helps my channel and I really, really, really appreciate it. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. I will leave the links with everything that I shared in this video. And before you leave, I wanna know like, what are some of your favorite things? What are some things that you discovered? Doesn't have to be makeup or skincare, it could be clothing or some kind of household thing, a cleaner, anything that you've discovered lately that you're like, you want to tell everybody about because you just love it so much, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. That's what this, this is all about. You know, my channel is about, we're just helping each other. So anytime you guys share different things, it just, somebody might be scrolling through looking for something. And so it is really helpful. So I really appreciate it if you would do that. And I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye. And luscious shine without weighing hair down. I hope you're focusing on me. Why are we done with the leaf blower? How many times do I have to do leaf blower? Oh my gosh. Who was doing the leaf blower? Focus on me. Focus on me. That leaf blower is killing me.
I mean, basically what you were doing is you were blowing leaves around and they're still there. <laughs> Awesome. Filming. When you think you're filming, the camera's actually off. 